Even the other day, yeah, my girl was watching like, you know, like Married to Medicine or something like that. Because she's been bouncing between um, Housewives of Potomac and um, Ma Married to Medicine. I, I don't watch any of that shit. Every now and then I might go and just chill with her or whatever in it, yeah, but I don't pay attention to the programs that she was. Obviously, you get me? I don't mind being in a room when baddies is on. You get what I'm trying to say, yeah? That, 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 that's a local program I don't mind watching, innit? But, um, yeah. I think it was Married to Medicine. There was one chick who, she had a brother, and my girl said, that guy is actually dead now. I was like, how did he die? Because my, my girl said he, he was like 31 or 32. So I'm like, damn, how the fuck did he die? You know, if I hear a 31-year-old 31 year old died or whatever, I want to fucking know, because he wasn't murdered or nothing. I was like, how did he, she was like, yeah, he died a natural cause. I was like, how did he die? Oh, apparently he had a heart attack. And I don't believe that bullshit. Obviously, is there some 31, 32-year-old dying a heart attack? Yeah, but what I'm saying is, more than likely, it was probably fentanyl or... You know what I'm trying to say? Like, this is what these families will do, you know? Their brother or their son will die from a drug overdose and they'll keep it hush-hush and say, yeah, it, it was... Um, what do you call it? Um, it? It was heart failure and that. Yeah, it was heart failure because he, he took too much fucking fentanyl, blood. 